start for me and where these are today, as I am um, uh, deeply involved into art uh, for a very long time, from my childhood, I would say. And uh, to me, art has always been a, a very precious um, field uh, that uh, has to be protected because it's the ideal place for freedom and for asking the fundamental questions uh, for artists but also for the, for the public. And in a moment where we live now, which is a moment of conflicts, of crisis, that we're at the core of the last final, it's very important to me to reaffirm uh, the importance of art itself, uh, art as a place for freedom, but also for dreams, for utopias, for um, the dimensions into the very subjectivity, but also uh, to uh, sort of ideals and also spiritual uh, dimension that are uh, nowadays more uh, important than ever. So the art itself, to me, is the alternative. The alternative to indifference, the alternative uh, to individualism also. And it is the place where one can build itself, one can edify itself. Uh, to me, it has always been a, a yes to life. Also, this yes is sometimes followed by a but, yes but. And um, so for all these reasons, the arts, the artist uh, has a very important role, uh, a voice and a responsibility that I want to put at the core of the vinyl. So that's why I decided to put this vinyl under the title Vive Arte Viva, which is both uh, a sort of affirmation of my own passion for art, but also a celebration and an affirmation of the uh, art and its vitality now or day. Uh, it's a viva for the artists themselves who will be at the core of the exhibition. I want to deepen uh, the practices of the artists to show to the public what is art today, why an artist chooses to be an artist, what are the daily practices of the artist that are so diverse, and not only the ones that are uh, sometimes at the front page of the media, because all the artists I, I know uh, on the, are not uh, always fitting to this model that is given uh, nowadays to, to the public. And uh, I want to put the, this at the core of, of the exhibition because I think that the artist is also a sort of model uh, or, uh, I say, an alternative to a society that is essentially driven by uh, efficiency and uh, material interest. And so to me, an artist, or at least uh, the artist I, uh, I'm in link with, or the artist I want to show, they are all chosen to be artists because they are attached to a very important notion that, are very, that is very familiar to Italian people, which is ozio or also, which means, as you all know, this time uh, of tranquility, of uh, inaction or action, uh, this time where you are concentrated on yourself, on being with yourself without any uh, other activities. Uh, Negozio is the contrary. And you know that in French, the translation of, of Otsum is very pejorative. What if they, it's like laziness, like it's a very um, uh, critical word because uh, in a society that is devoted to labor, travail in French, uh, the notion of inaction, of inaction to do something is uh, badly considered. Also, if you translate it in English, it makes leisure for Otsum, which is very far from what Otsum is. And the opposite is business. So uh, I'm very interested in this uh, uh, words translation because they show an evolution toward, um, I would say, uh, a sort of misunderstanding about uh, the way an artist is living and one, uh, the way we should live also according 
uh, to this uh, possibility that we have a, a free time devoted to build ourselves and not only to consume or be uh, uh, in, into a, a world of uh, efficiency. And the artists, most of the artists, actually they spend a lot of time just uh, doing nothing or nourishing themselves by readings or uh, sometimes making uh, daily practices and material practices, but they have their own universe. And this universe uh, will be at the core of my exhibition and will be the point of departure of the show that I want to create, which is a, a sort of journey, an experience for the public. Uh, as a curator, I consider to be a sort of mediator uh, from the point of view of the artist toward the public, so I mean, I place myself just in between these two uh, uh, persons, and I want that the public experience something special that it goes through uh, different universes, and I hope will be at the end transformed by the experience. So the point of departure is the self, the self of the artist, his mental universe, his studio his influences, his relationship to uh, the art history, for example, to books. And that's why the, this first chapter is called the pavilion of the artist and the books. There will be 12 pavilions, as you understand, I want to address the organization of the vinyl with pavilions, but create trans pavilions, uh, meaning pavilions uh, with all generations, and uh, also uh, all uh, nationalities, of course. <laughs> and there will be sort of um, families of artists, universes, um, uh, with a sort of uh, evolution from the interiority of the artist toward the outside. The last pavilion uh, is called the Pavilion of Time and Infinity. And as you can see, it's more speculative, it's more uh, going into a metaphysical uh, uh, interrogation and in between uh, there will be uh, pavilions that will um, drive you in a movement of openness uh, I, because I think the only response to this moment of uh, crisis and conflict is uh, to open oneself and uh, a lot of artists are working in this dimension of the X of the ecstasy, of the going outside of oneself uh, through also the uh, experience of art. Um, I want to um, show very different kind of artists from uh, various parts of the world. Uh, of course, uh, I've not been traveling uh, in, during six months all over the world to find new artists, so a lot of artists that I knew already or that uh, I found very interesting, but from all generations. I'm very attached to the fact that young emerging energies should always be uh, uh, next to uh, artists that, uh, uh, who have not had their times, for example, because things are going too fast, unfortunately or artists that should be rediscovered because they were known or for example they have been at the Vienna in the 70s but nobody uh, can remind uh, it uh, today and uh, we have to think also of the younger people and um, I want to explore several areas, cultural areas uh, that have not uh, been uh, explored so much uh, for example in the last Vienna uh, the um, Asia is uh, one of these fields, the Middle East in which I've been a lot, uh, Europe for me is very important <laughs> as a European, uh, also the ex-Eastern Europe until the boundaries of Russia that we forget sometimes too much, including Italy of course, uh, Latin America uh, which is a continent with amazing artists. So, these are my, my, I would say, more uh, geographical focus among many countries from an Inuit artist to uh, uh, Kazakh or, you know, it will be very various. Um, 